All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here. Check it out. So in the video that you're getting ready to watch, you're going to be seeing a demonstration of the primary arms 4 to 14 by 44 first focal plane scope with the R-Grid reticle. This thing is absolutely incredible. All I did was I went to ballisticscalculator.com. I downloaded the muzzle velocity, the ballistic coefficient, the environmentals, and it gave me basically what my mills and holdovers should be, plus the windage. Took that along with the rifle, the ammo, went to the range, and we engaged targets from 300 to 800 yards with the reticle only. Now, I imagine with a little bit more time, we could have probably pinpointed a little bit closer, but I'm going to tell you something. I had a blast shooting this thing, had a little bit of fun out in 300, 400 yards. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this scope, you can go to my website, kb32tac.com. There is a link there. It'll take you straight over to uh, Primary Arms. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little lengthy, but we had fun. Stand by. All right, so I got target set up at 300 and 400 with the camera on them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the R grid only to engage those targets. Now we're shooting a 75 grain. And basically what I did, guys, I pulled this off of a ballistics calculator. I'll put the link down below where you can find this thing. It'll get you close. Now this is the first shot I really fired with uh, this setup. So we'll see how well it does and uh, how close we are. I don't anticipate hitting them right on the money but we're going to be damn close so let's go ahead and uh, shoot for the 300 put a couple rounds on it see where we go now at 300 yards we are looking at 0.94 mils here we go Can't tell if I'm hitting those or not. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna jump jump up there to the uh, the 400. It's 1.93 mils. Left side target. While we're at it, why don't we just go ahead and hit that? Uh, let's go for the bowling pin. One more time. I don't know what oh. One more time. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. That was a big one round. Now. See the four inch target in the background? Um. Oops. All right, big target on the right. Target on the left. I think we got him. So if that was a deer out there, I anticipate he would be dinner. Let's go up and uh, change those target cameras out. Stand by. All right, guys. Well, I thought we had a little fun with that uh, last bit. I don't even think I hit the 300 target, but at least we had fun. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go out uh, 500, 600, and uh, see how we go there. Now, again... Our 500, uh, we're going to be running at 3.10 mils. Let's go ahead and load up and get going. Here we go. Whew. 3.10 mils. No wind hold at first. All right, a little low. Uh, I guess this can go the back seat. Okay. Wow. Oh, there mine. Wrong hole. There we go. 
Alright, that little disc. We'll walk in here. Alright, so let's go 600. We're going to go 4.47 mils on that. Here we go. That should be easy to hit. Closer to be about five and a half with about one mil holdover on the for the wind. That's 30 rounds right there. Let's go ahead, get back up there, and let's see if we can go 700, 800 with this round. This is uh, the 75 grain Hornaday Boattail Hollow Point with no can of lure with a 24.4 grains of bargain. All right, guys, well, we decided to go ahead and take it out to the 700 and 800. Now, this is a, a, a pretty decent rifle, uh, but what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take my time and see if we can figure this out. Like I said, I downloaded these calcs off of Ballistics Calculator. So, uh, 700, 6.07 mils, 807.94. So, let's go ahead and again, like I said, what we're doing, I am pulling these straight off of the reticle of that R grid. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right, <laughs> where are we? 700, 6.70. And one of the things you can do is you can go ahead and verify your dope and adjust it uh, by going ahead and bringing the reticle up a tad on the vertical adjustment. I don't want to do that right now. What I'm trying to do is convey that you can right hand target 700. Then they come close. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, that one fell short. So what I'm finding out, within the uh, ballistics chart, we're bringing it down a little bit. So I'm having to hold about six and a half with about a half mil hold for wind. Let's see how consistent it is.
There we go. <laughs> Let's try that little one down there, based on what I know from the bigger one. Those are about 12 inch uh, and square. try out the 800 which probably ain't gonna do a whole lot better but like I said uh, 800 7.94 so we're gonna probably run eight and a half mils and I can't see the target it's blocked by a bunch of brush I'm going to hold it up a half minute. That's it. We're out of ammo. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, having a little fun with the R grid today. This is a, uh, a fantastic scope. The, uh, the reticle on this deal, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to and some fine tuning. But one of the things I wanted to illustrate to you guys today was the fact that I can take this thing out, pull a chart online, and those are 12 by 12 inch targets out there. So I don't think it did bad. Bad at all. All right, guys, that's it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. There's a sign. This freedom comes in 5.56. Five, Ballistic chart, a good radical, and, uh, well, a good trigger, too. Well, anyway, guys, you get the gist. Codeboy32, thank you for joining us. Y'all have a great day.